I know we just went through a lot, but let's practice. So why don't you try these questions with us? So the first thing we have to do is write out how many, oh wait, hold on. No, the first thing is look and see if we have any things suspicious. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> yes. Um, we have PO4. Good. And we have OH and. Wait, so should I highlight these like you or I underline them or do something? Sure. That'll make it easier. OH. And then I would rewrite H2O as HOH. And then we have PO4 and PO4. Mm -hmm. And then, see, I like how yours is like easier to get a color. <laughs> like I have the newer version and you have, do you see oh, what I have to go through? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I will never upgrade then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recommend it. <laughs> and then is the HG anything? That's just a typical element, uh, Mercury. Yeah, so I don't do yeah. anything. No. Okay. So now I can start. Yes. Counting. Okay. So mm -hmm. HG, and then you go like this. Um, Good. Good. Perfect. Okay. And then I just put that on the other side too, right? Correct. Yeah. Because we're always going to have the same on the other side. It has to be. Yeah. Or else it's not balanced. Okay. Here we go. So we have one HG. Mm -hmm. Two OHs. Good. Good. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, sorry, because I, I saw that you skipped it. I saw that you skipped PO4, and I'm like, okay, and she went back. But I, I see why, because it says H3PO4. Oh, yeah, I was yeah. just following it in order. Yeah. yeah. No, I saw it, yeah. At first, I was like, why did she skip it? <laughs> cool. Going. Okay, so three of these. Good. Two of those. Mm-hmm. One of these and one Perfect. of these. Good. All right. What do we want to start balancing? Okay, so we're going to save the OH and the H for at the end. So yes. does it matter whether I start with the PO4 or the HG at that point or no? It honestly doesn't. Um, I would have started with HG just because it seems easier to do since it's just like one element versus a polyatomic ion. Um so I, I would start with HG, but it honestly doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll do HG then. Um, so we need to put a three over here. Good. And so, then recount how many do we have? Yeah. Three. Mm. And then three times two is six. So we now have six. Then we didn't change Perfect. these. Exactly. Um, now we will do the PO4. Okay. Okay. So we need to multiply this by two. Good. Mm hmm Good. Try that again. How many PO4s? Four. Yeah. <laughs> oh. There you it's go. It's just two. Exactly. Oh my gosh, I was doing two times four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> exactly. And that, that's why highlighting it, I'd say, is helpful because, you know, it's this entire thing. Right. It's not, okay, it's sure. not just the oxygens. So yeah. Good. And these and, stay the same. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now... We can do the um, hydrogen. Yeah, I, I would I would leave OH to the very end. Yeah, good. Okay, so we're gonna multiply this whole thing by six. Good. Good. 
Perfect. Are we good? <laughs> You're good. You're good. And we're balanced. Yay! Okay, <laughs> the, cool. Perfect. And then the last thing I would say to do um, just on an exam is just make sure that that six goes in front of the H2O. But I know everything's multiple oh, okay. choice for you, but but I'm just saying, yeah. Cool. And that's it. That's honestly it. Um, yeah, not bad. Let's move on to the next one. Cool. Okay. So for this one, would we do the SO4? Yes, perfect. Okay. So you're picking it up real quick. Yay. Yeah, soon you're going to prefer to do this instead of everything else. <laughs> yeah. I bet you're right. <laughs> It's honestly not as bad as I'm tired of writing Lewis structures, honestly. I'm so tired <laughs> on the exam. When I was taking that exam, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for Lewis structures to be over with. I had to draw so many Lewis structures. <laughs> yeah, you get sick of it after a while. <laughs> okay, so we have one aluminum. Mm -hmm. Two hydrogens and one SO4. Perfect. So we just have three of these? Yes. Okay. And then two hydrogens. Yes, now, good. B multiply that by two. Mm-hmm. That's good. And we'll multiply the SO4 by three. Good. Three times. Two. Perfect. Good. And then Keep going. this needs to be multiplied by three. Perfect. And you're balanced. Cool. <laughs> All right, keep going. Next one. Okay. Do, do I we need to do anything? So, so um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I want you to look at this one, and I know that we've been finding a bunch of polyatomic ions previously, um, but do we have any of the same exact polyatomic ion on both sides? Do yes. we even have that here? No. no, because <laughs> because we have NO3 on the left side, but NO2 on the right side. And since those are not the same, we can't say that they're the same polyatomic ion. So instead, we will have okay. to find, we'll have to separate everything. So it will be, you know, potassium, nitrogen, and oxygen. So no polyatomic ions okay. in this case. Got it. <laughs> I wish we had that copy and paste feature in real life. I know. It's so nice. <laughs> or that command Z. I always constantly think of when I mess something up. I'm just like, command Z, if only that were a yeah. thing. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. If only. So nice. One day it will be. Just kidding. <laughs> One day, maybe. Who knows where the future will take us. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so we have one of these... One of these, three of these. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Over here, one of these, one of these, mm -hmm. and four. Good. Okay. Oh, we're gonna do a fraction. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, we don't know that yet. We don't know that yet. So, yeah, we don't know that yet. I, I don't even know that yet. <laughs> so, looking at this one, um, hmm. This is a great one because we don't know if we need a fraction just because is there a way to make that three into a, uh, an even number? So. No. Oh, you mean like multiplying by four to get 12? Exactly. 
So okay. if we, yeah. So like if we put a four there, um, then sure, that'll change everything. But we might be able to, I'd say try it. Like, let's just try it because I, I don't know the answer just yet. Um, so try okay. putting a four in front of the left reactant. Yeah. And then recounting it. Perfect. So now we do this again. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm-hmm. Perfect. And now we're doing three over here, right? Um, hold on. So how many how many potassiums do we have? So we're, we're not we, multiplying. We're not multiplying like one side by four and the other side by three. Instead, I want you to oh. think we, we we still we want to now get to twelve for oxygen. So yeah. We so you have to, to multiply it by three. Hold on. So we want to leave oxygen to the very end for balancing, right? So I want you to think oh. of potassium, yeah, what that needs. And then hopefully we can get to, you know, at the end, the oxygen will be 12. I see what you're saying now. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because otherwise then we would still have to change everything again. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So we're going to need to multiply over here now by four. Wait, yes. again? Yes. So what am I supposed to write that there? Oh, no, no, sorry. Um, four on the <laughs> the right side, because we're, we're just balancing. I just want you to think this is what we're typically doing. We're balancing out potassium right now. Oh, okay. Whoops. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Yeah, because we're trying to get this one to four. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So this is four. This is four. This is Good. eight. No, uh, it's not. Hold on. Eight plus two <laughs> yeah. is ten. <laughs> You're like, don't tell me it. I know. <laughs> I know. Cool. Um, okay. Oh, here we're we are again. <laughs> yes, here we are again. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is fine. Um, I'm like doing this in my head. Yes, that works. Um, okay, this is a good one. Next, I want you to think... What if we were to just change, because everything else is balanced, it's just the oxygen. What if we were to just change that O2 on the right side and change that to, I don't just want to tell you the answer. I'm going to tell you something else. <laughs> so for, for the uh, KNO2, we said that that gives us eight oxygens, correct? Yeah. So... Eight plus what number will give us 12? Eight plus what gives us 12? That's what I'm asking. Four. Four. So if we need that O2 to give us four oxygens, what number do I need to put as a coefficient in front of O2 to give us four? Two. Yes. So now recount it and you'll see that it works. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Okay. So I can just... yeah make stuff up <laughs> well, you're not making stuff up but but you're you're, you're uh seeing how else you can make this yes yeah so right. so cool so we we would see that if we recounted all the oxygens you know uh, for yes. you know exactly it would give us 12 but we're not done yet because why would we be um here's a new <laughs> thing that i wanted to mention and this is why i said to multiply by four so it's not that it's wrong it's, it's the fact that it's not in its simplest form. So if you notice, all of these coefficients have a factor, a common factor. What is that common factor? Um, or how can we, re can we simplify all of these coefficients by the same number? Oh, yeah, two. Exactly. So you want all of your coefficients, like if you see this, if you see that there is like, you know, four, four and two, all of those have a common factor of two, um, then you have to reduce it. It wouldn't be correct if it was this. So we would just rewrite it like this, like with a two? Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's essentially like you're dividing by two from all of those coefficients. And if you truly wanted to, you would see that it's still balanced. And just to, just to prove a point, um, why don't we just recount up from this new equation and make sure that everything is balanced? Okay. So do the same exact thing? Like, yeah, just to make sure that everything, now? yes. Yeah. Okay. He even just copy and paste it. 
Oh, okay, that works. It's fine. <laughs> okay. You're good. I was trying um, to save you time. You're fine, but I know it's smaller. Okay, cool. And then go for it. Okay, so... The two in front of it applies to the whole thing, right? Yes. So yes, it does. Two of these, two of these, mm -hmm. and oh, five of these. Try that again. We're multiplying. Oh. <laughs> Not adding. <laughs> there you go. Good. Six. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in total, Plus how many two. oxygens? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Six. Perfect. So that's how you can tell that, yes, this does work. It Everything is balanced. So it will work it, in the case that, hey, I don't know if, if I had to multiply by two or if I had to multiply by four. Um, if everything has a common factor and you can simplify at the very end, do that and that will be your answer. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Um, I, th I think I have another one, right? Or was that it? Yes. Okay. I'm like, let me follow along with you. Um, we have a couple <laughs> more. Cool. All right, so we have two more. Let's do this one as well. Okay, cool. Um, Good. Okay. So we have two of those, six of these, mm -hmm. and two of those. Perfect. Where do you want to start? We're going to leave the hydrogen. Oh, we're going to go in order. Exactly. We're going to go in order. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to add a two in front of this. Mm -hmm. And it becomes two. Wait a minute. So this becomes five. Good. That's right. Okay. And this still stays the same. Yes. Okay. So now we can multiply this by three. Mm -hmm. I have like no room here. Let me move this over. I don't know why I did it like that. <laughs> okay. Wait, what am I doing right now? Oh, this over here. Okay. Yes. So. So now I'm doing the three times the oxygen. Yes. Which is three oxygens plus mm -hmm. four. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes, you're right. <laughs> so seven. Correct. Okay. Um, and then this stays the same. Perfect. What's next? Next is fractions. Exactly. Perfect. Good. 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 <laughs> okay. So we take the number that we're trying to get to and we make that. So it's seven halves. Exactly. And then the okay. last step is what? Um, now we have to multiply the whole thing by two. Exactly. That's right. Okay. So two times two is four. So I put a four oh, hold on. in front of this. Hold on, hold on. Oh. So the coefficient in front of that is one. Right in front of the C2H6, oh, yeah. there's a one. Oh, yeah, and those are combined, so... Yes, we just so we're, not, we're never multiplying any of the um, subscripts. It's just the coefficients in this case. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> So C two H six good plus seven O two the twos cancel mm -hmm. and then this two that's here counts right so we do two times yes. two okay correct correct perfect that's it that's correct yay okay. <laughs>
Good. Um, one thing I, I will point out, I, we have one more, um, but one thing I will point out for this is in case you see this on a multiple choice question um, and they don't multiply the end result by two, it wouldn't be wrong. I just typically see that most professors prefer you to have whole numbers. Um, but if one of the answer choices was like the first part that you had with the fraction, then that's fine. That's still correct. That would still be right. Yeah, it just wouldn't be like the finished version. Correct. Yeah. Right. Okay. Just a, just a heads Good up. Good to know. Yeah. yeah. And then we have one more. So let's do that last one. Okay. So C H O. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have six seeds. Mm -hmm. or carbons. Carbs. <laughs> I need to stop yep. calling them by their their uh, <laughs> letters. <laughs> We're past this point, okay? I'm almost to Gen Ken, too. <laughs> you know these by now. Yeah, no, you're six, good. Good. Six hydrogens and two oxygens. Good. One carbon, mm -hmm. two hydrogens, and three oxygens. Good. Cool. Go for it. Okay, so we need to start, oh, we're going to go in order again. So mm -hmm. we'll start with the carbons and multiply um, by six. Good. Mm -hmm. And mm. double check your oxygen. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, my gosh. I need to stop doing that. Okay. Need to break this habit now before it becomes a problem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So six times two is twelve plus the one. Right? Yes. So thirteen. Good. Okay. So now we need to multiply the hydrogens by three. Good. Or the H two O. So three times two is six. This is what gets me. Okay, so we're doing just the three times one. So there's mm -hmm. now three oxygens over here Good. plus the 12. Exactly. Okay. And this. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what now? <laughs> <laughs> what happens now? <laughs> Fraction, I guess. Fraction, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Never seen right, someone so say fraction with a smile, by the way. So this is the first time. <laughs> fraction? <laughs> I'm just saying because I'm right. <laughs> you're right. No, you're right. Yeah. Which is great. It's the only other thing. Okay. <laughs> um, so we're going to do... We're trying to get the oxygen to 15. So we do 15 over 2. Good. Perfect. So we have to multiply the whole thing by two. Mm -hmm. But now we're not going to touch any subscripts. We don't do that. <laughs> we don't do that. No. <laughs> None of that will be happening. Okay, so then we just rewrite our stuff here. Mm -hmm. It's a little the finger, a little waving of the finger. I don't know what that is, but... <laughs> just makes everything funnier. Okay. <laughs> Two times six is twelve. Good. Perfect. That's it. Yay! <laughs> and then I'm going to ask one final question. What type of reaction is this? Oh, God. <laughs> at the end or at the beginning? <laughs> um, either one. Either one. It's still oh, they the same reaction. The same? They'd be the oh. same, yeah. The, the only difference okay. is that it's balanced now. Okay. Um, let's see. Well. Good question, Melissa. We... Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we don't have any OHs, so it's not the acid-base thing. 
Good. <laughs> There's that. There's um, that, yes. <laughs> we know if it's combustion, if it's... It's combustion, isn't it? It's combustion. Yes, but why? Because <laughs> the look on your face when I say I know, combustion. I know, my face gives it away. <laughs> but you're not going to have my face on the exam, so I hope not. That's weird. But, but yes, um, because combustion, again, has O2 on the left side. On the right side, it always has CO2 and water. Yes, okay. O2 okay. on the left, CO2 and water on the right. Yes. Cool. Sometimes I know you're feeling like, I don't even have my life balanced. How in the world can I balance out chemical equations? Well, I hope that this video gave you some balance and gave you some good pointers. Let me know in the comments how you're doing.